This is Paul Brarin from Tinker Try at VMworld 2018 US. And I'm at the Super Micro booth, obviously. And you can see they've got some gear. And you may remember I met Vic Malaya last year. Hey, how are you? Good. And uh, you and I are just catching up a little bit. If you could uh, give us an overview now that the booth is cleared for a moment. Um, what's new since last year? Great question. So last year we talked about our uh, uh, Big Twin platform. This is with the four nodes and it is basically the de facto standard for all the hyper-converged uh, infrastructure. And that time we were talking about uh, what we've done with Intel Optin and Intel uh, NVMe devices in this to bring the best of the breed. So things have changed since then. So last time it was like a 375 gig of Intel Optin I was showing the U.2 form factor. That has jumped up to all the way to 1.5 uh, terabytes. And in the, on the Intel NVMe drives point of view, the P-series, the Cliffdale refresh that came into picture. So higher capacities, better performance, better things all around. So that is basically the main difference on uh, the whole um, value that we are bringing into these hyper-converged platforms with the Big Twin platform. Before we move on to the next one, I have a quick question. The name Big Twin, right? Well, this is actually four nodes. I want to point that out. So two you, four nodes. And let me sneak around you here. I'm going to go around the back. So this will make it more clear. Uh, there's three of four nodes installed, right? Each of these are independent, independent Xeon servers. We have one right on the top. All right, thank you for that. So I just wanted to you know, clear that up. Now, why is it called Twin, by the way, if it's actually Four. Very simple. So basically, um, initially when we started the technology in a standard 1U pizza box, there used to be only one node. And what we have changed is that we have added two nodes into that. That was the first of the so-called the twin platform in a 1U2. But we also moved that to a 2U four node form factor. That's why we call it 2U twin square. So that's the basic idea. And as we started adding more features and functionalities into that, we started naming it. I mean, this one is the big twin because it is basically the de facto standard in the HCI platform. It has all the memory, all the CPUs, whatever that is maximum supported from Intel as such. Okay, and of course that includes, you know, vSAN. All right, so let's move on to the uh, next one here. This is truly new. Uh, we'll talk about this one you here. What's special about what you've got on the left edge there? So this is actually very, very uh, new, and we've been talking about in the Flash Memory Summit and few other conferences. This is uh, based on so-called the Intel ruler form factor. So I'll kind of slide one out for you for uh, checking it. So this is like a ruler, right? So that's the reason um, this is a ruler form factor. And what we have done is we have taken this into a 1U platform, and we have added 32 of them in a 1U. And, uh, from Intel point of view, the capacities of this drive is going anywhere from four terabytes today, going all the way to 32 terabytes, which basically makes it one petabyte in a one U form factor. And the beauty of this is not just in terms of capacity, right? We can we can we can cram in as much capacity, but how do we create a balanced architecture which is going to give the best performance and best latencies that are around this? So what I can um, as you uh, start taking the pictures, I can kind of explain what we are trying to do in this is, in the front of this, the way the, the design is, we put 32 of these, and we have the switching that goes behind it. In the end, we have 64 lanes of PCI Express that got exposed in the back. Let me see if we can actually you know, get a shot of it. It's 64 lanes of PCI Express, and in addition to that, we have two PCI Express by 16 in case if you want to have an additional add-on card. The whole idea behind this is, number one, capacity, that is very clearly known and seen, but more importantly, how do we improve the efficiency and how do we improve the utilization of the storage within a given platform? So we put this, almost a petabyte of storage in this, and we are able to connect it to multiple hosts externally, so you'll be able to dynamically provision the storage per node. That way, within a system, you don't have to worry about how much storage is there, but you can actually add all the storage externally and be able to dynamically allocate the amount of storage to make the best use of the available storage on that. So that's the beauty of it. Just briefly, if you can talk to me just a little bit about the form factor of the connectors we're seeing there laying on the motherboard. So right here, we've got some very tight connections. It's so a very fat ribbon cables. Can you talk to me a little bit about what these are called? So these are standard uh, you know, NVMe uh, connectors. Each one is uh, going to um, you know, connect like multiple uh, PC Express lanes uh, from the main board to the NVMe board. The idea again here is if you, if you look at it, the reason for this design, we also have a platform where you can remove the switching portion in the back and replace with a two 
dual socket platform. So technically you're, you're making a one petabyte storage server if you want, or you can make it as a standard uh, one new JBOF, which actually will give you the ability to make it as uh, a standard JBOF or uh, NVMe or Fabric. Either way we can actually support uh, the storage platforms. Okay, great. We can, uh, we'll go over to the next machine here. And well, there we go, a GPU. So in this case, the GPU platforms are um, what, what, what is getting the maximum traction, but what we try to do is bring the GPUs into our standard servers, um, so that way people can use it in uh, the virtualized environment. In this specific case, what you're seeing is the Volta V100 with 32 gig memory on each of them. This is our ultra platform. We are able to connect the GPUs within the system and we are able to uh, help with the virtualization. So we can do the VDI as a part of it. And we can also, we are in the process of actually qualifying this for the vMotion, the one that we were talking about yesterday in the keynote. Yes. So we are able to do that uh, 6.7, um, I think the update one, exactly. So with that, we are able to support vMotion on this particular platform. So not just the standard uh, 2U4 node, which we are using for the standard VDI applications, but we will be able to use the virtualization of GPU as a part of it. So we are quite excited about that particular one. Yeah, no, that's great. That was part of uh, VMware's announcements with update one announced, not yet available by end of year. I'll just point that out. Um, so thank you. That's why I said, you know, ooh, you got a GPU showing here, and I'll just point the back out. We've got eight pins. So the, the Ultra platform actually can support two, and then if you're talking about our GPU platform, we can support up to four in one U, or you can actually go up to eight GPUs in a four U form factor. So there are different type of GPU platforms, and the best part is that all of them are VMware ESX certified, so we'll be able to size the platform based on the customer's requirement quite easily. Okay, great, and then we'll just close out with, what are you showing uh, graphically here, showing off? What's the GPU doing? This is basically slicing out the GPU. So normally, this particular GPU has like you know, 32 gigs of memory, and we can splice it into like two or four uh, virtual GPUs, and then we are running the virtualization on top of it. And what we are trying to see is, if you're if you were to do the same job on a CPU alone, it's going to take several hours. And what we are trying to do is, by using even a partial GPU, we are able to offload a bunch of that responsibility, and we are going to speed up uh, the rendering effort on this. So uh, thank you again for your time, Vic. This was great. Appreciate it.